Imagine a world without nozzle blobs. A world where you can start a 3D print and just walk away without having to worry about coming back to a huge mess. If you're serious about 3D printing, you've probably had a nozzle blob before, and you know that they're a real pain to deal with. Usually, it goes something like this. Oh no, it's a disaster! It's another nozzle blob. Ah, my 3D print is ruined. My hot end's a complete mess. I'm gonna have to take all of this apart, clean it up, and I might have to just replace everything. I'm Steven from 3DQ, and today's video is the first out of 14 on our video series covering all the different failure modes from Quinley Vision, our AI print supervisor. Today, we'll talk about what a nozzle blob is, how Quinley Vision detects nozzle blobs, why nozzle blobs happen, and what you can do to prevent nozzle blobs from happening on your 3D printer. So what are nozzle blobs? Nozzle blobs are a type of 3D printing fail where molten plastic forms a huge glob around the nozzle. And these are super annoying. When nozzle blobs happen, it usually takes a long time to clean up and you might have to replace some parts on your hot end because nozzle blobs tend to damage components. When Quinley Vision is watching your print, it looks for a few specific features to detect a nozzle blob. So the first thing it looks for is a material buildup around the nozzle. And then it needs to know that the material is moving with the nozzle. It can tell that it's a nozzle blob, usually because nozzle blobs are quite a bit more dense than just spaghetti, because when the material builds up around the hot end, it forms little blobs and chunks rather than individual strings. So why do nozzle blobs happen in the first place? Nozzle blobs happen when, most likely, the first layer has peeled up. So when you're printing that first layer, maybe a line doesn't go down just right, and it peels up a little bit, causing a chain reaction, causing the whole print to fail. If you're the kind of person that just walks away after starting a print, this can happen to you. And the second thing that can cause a nozzle blob is when the part detaches partway through the print. So if you're printing maybe something that's tall and thin, and that can cause a nozzle blob if it gets knocked over after the first few layers. And in rare cases, plastic can actually leak out from around the nozzle rather than out of the middle of the nozzle. And this is usually because hardware is loosened over time or hasn't been installed correctly. And nozzle blobs can be related to other failures too. Usually, a first layer that doesn't go down so well happens before a nozzle blob. So Quinley Vision would actually prevent nozzle blobs from happening in the first place because Quinley Vision has a built-in feature specifically looking at bad first layers. And this is important for automated 3D printing because you won't always be able to watch that first layer go down if you're running a continuous 3D printer that can start prints all by itself. Another failure that usually accompanies nozzle blobs is plain old spaghetti. So sometimes you'll get some spaghetti floating around on the build plate that eventually attaches itself to the nozzle and then forms a nozzle blob from there. So you'll, you'll usually see spaghetti and nozzle blob in the same print. So what can you do to prevent nozzle blobs from happening in the first place? Well, the best thing you can do is to make sure that your first layer goes down perfectly. And to do that, you just need to have really good first layer setting. So I recommend printing a first layer really hot, printing it really slow, and printing it with a really thick line width and layer height so that the plastic takes actually quite a while to cool down. And that helps it stick very well to the build plate. The next thing you can do is to make sure you have really good bed adhesion. So if you're using a Quinley printer and you have a vapor bed, you need to make sure that the bed is the appropriate temperature for the material that you're using. And also the first layer nozzle temperature is quite important, so you wanna make sure that that's hot enough for the material to get really melted so it sticks very well. You also wanna make sure that the bed is clean and free from dust and oils. Finally, you're going to wanna check your nozzle and hot end assembly every once in a while, just to make sure that everything's tight and that you're not leaking filament, because that can sometimes cause a nozzle blob too. Of course, if you want to be able to catch nozzle blobs before they happen, you might want to try Quinley Vision. And if that sounds interesting to you, you should try our demo. It's linked in the description. And that's all for today. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you have a friend who tends to get a lot of nozzle blobs, send them this video. I think they'll appreciate it. I'm Steven, product lead at 3DQ. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.